Hi, in this video I'm going to show you two beautiful eye makeup looks which you can create with some Essence eyeshadow palettes. Now, from the ones that I've reviewed so far, I've picked my favorite ones when it comes to the colors and also how they apply and also work the best for me. And maybe if you have one of those palettes at home or you want to get one of those, then you can also see how you can combine those eyeshadow palettes. And so I'm going to start off with the Salut Paris eyeshadow palette, which is a beautiful, very unique eyeshadow palette because it includes cool toned colors, which are very dusty like, and I haven't seen many of those eyeshadow palettes, that's why that's one of my favorite uh, palettes to create eye makeup looks with it. Then I'm also going to move on to the Bonjour Montreal, which is very autumn like, it has some green, wets and browns in it. And then uh, lastly, the Ciao Venezia palette, which is an Italian vibe palette. And it also has very similar colors in it as the Bonjour Montreal. And so with those colors, I wanted to come up with two beautiful eye makeup looks. I want to create one that's very cool tone like, and also the other one that's a little bit more warm tone like, which works beautifully with those three palettes. And so I'm going to start off with the crease color as well as going into the greenish tone from the Salut Paris eyeshadow palette. If you have applied an eyeshadow primer or a light base on your eyelid area, don't forget that you always should blend it in, otherwise it can crease it. And then if it might be also a little bit from your base, then you can also use a bit of setting powder as well as a fluffy brush to set it before going in with some eyeshadow so that it won't crease during the day and it also stays put, especially if you have oily eyelids. So this way that when you're going to apply some color on your eyelids, you won't have any crease lines and it also will apply evenly and the color will also like bring it forward even more. Now once this one is through the crease and you're happy also on how you build it up and also the finish it will give you, then we can move on to the next shadow. Now I was thinking of sticking now with some browns and as I have also two other palettes, I also wanted to go into the Bonjour Montreal and also going into this color right here which is also a very cool tone and it's a brown shade but it also has like a slightly purple in it and this is the one that I'm going to focus towards the outer corner and it still is a matte shadow. Always tap off any excess so that we can build it up slowly and you won't end up with a load like loads of fallout with eyeshadows that are having a powdery finish it is common to have fallout this is something that if you're going to tap off the excess you can avoid but you still will end up always with a little bit right under here so if this is the case also for you then you can decide if you want to start with your eyes first and then you do your base or later on just wipe it off and use a bit of concealer to get a clean base again So once you're happy with what the outer corner looks like, I'm also going to dig into some shimmer. And I'm like being between the brownish golden shade, which is still a bit more cool toned, or the green. But because I wanted to keep it also a little bit more wearable like, I'm going to stick with the golden one, but still keeping it very cool toned based on the colors that I've chosen. I'm going to use my finger for it, just because it also will give me the best application. Going back with the brush and I'm going to bring the darker shadow back into the shimmery one. Mm -hmm. 
So now that we have the shimmer also on the main lid area, we are coming close to an end. And so the last thing that's missing is a little bit of mascara. And if you're going to apply mascara and you uh, want to make sure that you're not going to mess up the eyelid area where you have applied the eyeshadow, then don't forget to look down into a mirror so that you won't touch the eyelid area with your lashes while applying the mascara in between. Now this is the first eye makeup look which I wanted to create with the Salut Paris eyeshadow palette as well as digging into the Bonjour Montreal. And those two together work beautifully if you're going to keep, for example, the wipes together when it comes to a cool toned eye makeup look which can look gorgeous as well. And now I'm also going to show you how you can remove, or well, how I like to remove the makeup in between when it comes to the eye area. Now to remove the eye makeup, which I'm doing now in between, I'm basically just going to take a cotton pad as well as some micellar water. And this is an easy way where I can remove the makeup without rubbing it on my eyelid area so that they're getting irritated. And this is how easy and quick I can remove the eye makeup by just using cotton pad and micella water. And this is also a great way how I can keep on my mascara, which I've just applied to continue with the second eye makeup look. As I believe that if I'm doing various looks after each other and I'm going to rub off the mascara every time, I have to refresh my whole base because then it's going to transfer also on the bottom. And to skip that so that I can continue in like a beautiful way, I'm just going to do it like this. Now, because I have also removed my base, I like to go in with some eyeshadow primer, which is also a great way to help me with my eye base and also make it smooth so that the eyeshadow goes on top beautifully. So now, moving on to the second eye makeup look, we are going to keep it warm toned. And I'm going to start off with a brown shadow, which I'm going to put through the crease with a blending brush. So now that this color is on, when we put it through the crease, this one has actually just a tiny bit of shimmer in it, but it's not too much. So I still can use it through the crease and it also will give it or look, makes it look like a softer blend. Now for the next shadow, I'm going to add something through the outer corner and I wanted to keep it towards the shimmery shades. And I thought of going into this one right here, which is from the Bonjour Montreal palette. And I'm going to use this one just a slightly bit towards the outer corner before moving on to the main lid area. And now for the main lid area, I want to go into the Ciao Venezia eyeshadow palette and I want to get into this beautiful peachy shade which I'm going to use on the main lid area and also using my fingers just because of the finish it will give me. Now there's one thing that I wanted to change just a tiny bit, which is on this side right here. And because most of the palettes, like the Salut Paris has greenish tones in it, but the Bonjour, uh, Bonjour Montreal and the Italian one have also beautiful matte tones like this, which you can also use to use it all over the lid. Or if you want to have or change something or reduce the pigmentation of something, then you can 
use those two too. And so you either can use it with your finger or also with a brush, depending on what you prefer, what you have the best feeling with. And then just going into the shadow, which is a matte shadow, I just wanted to reduce the um, pigmentation or like the color intensity from this side towards this area right here. And I can do, do this by using a matte shadow and also lighten it just a tiny bit because it's a little bit too dark for me. And this way you can also soften the color if you feel like the intensity is a little bit too much. Now with those shadows I have a bit more fallout with the last eye makeup look, it didn't happen. It just depends also on how much you use and also how much will land also on the under eye area. Now what I like doing because I have my base on, I'm just going to use a cotton pad as well as my teller water. This just works the quickest and remove it under my eyes. And then with the other side of the cotton pad, I'm just going to dry it. And then without a problem, I can also go back in with a bit of concealer and then just tap it in with my finger again. And this is also a quick and easy way on how you can, can get rid of any fallout if you have already your base done. Now those were the two eye makeup looks which I came up with while using those three Essence eyeshadow palettes. And I just love the colors of those, that's why I wanted to show them to you as well and what you can come up with. And also do hope that you will like those looks as well as the tutorial slash video of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. And yeah, I mean, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as share it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye!